Hello Sparkle. Hello. Hello. And everyone else who has joined us, it's good to see you. Hope you're mm. all keeping well. We're going to start with God is a holy God. God is a holy God. God is a holy God. We can't be friends because of our sin. We can't be friends because of our sin. God is a holy God. God is a holy God. We can't be friends because of our sin. Jesus died to wash us clean When we put our trust in Him God opens His arms and welcomes us in God opens His arms and welcomes us in God is a holy God We can't be friends because of our sin. God is a holy God. We can't be friends because of our sin. Jesus died to wash us clean. When we put our trust in Him, God opens His arms and welcomes us in. 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 Last week, our story was about God choosing Gideon. He wasn't an important person, but God was going to use him to rescue his people, the Israelites, from their enemies. Gideon sent out messengers and got a large army together and they camped near the camp of their enemy, the Midianites. Gideon looked at the enemy camp. The valley was full of camels and tents, too many to count. He had a lot of men, but were they enough to win the battle? Then Gideon had a shock. You have too many men, God said to him. The Israelites must see that they can only win the battle if they rely on me for help. Tell anyone who is afraid to go home. 22,000 men went home, which meant there are only 10,000 left. God spoke to Gideon again. There are still too many. He told Gideon to take them to the water and he would tell Gideon which soldiers were to leave and which were to stay. The soldiers started to drink from the water. Most of them knelt down to drink. They were the ones that God told Gideon to send home. The others lapped up the water with their hands to their mouths. They were the ones who were to stay to fight the Midianites. There were only 300 of them. Gideon had to rely on God to help him win the battle. He couldn't do it by himself. Gideon felt nervous. Could he win the battle with 300 men? Was God really going to help him? That night, he heard God say, Go down to the enemy camp tonight with your servant 
and listen to what they are saying. It will help you. So Gideon and his servant went very quietly down the hill to the edge of the enemy camp. They reached the first tents and they listened. A man was telling his friend a dream. In my dream, I saw a round loaf of bread come tumbling into our camp. It struck a tent with such force that the tent overturned and collapsed. The friend said, this means that God will help Gideon capture the whole of our camp. Gideon and his servant crept away. They realised that even the enemy knew Gideon would beat their huge army with God's help. Gideon praised God and worshipped him for being so great. Now he was sure his army would win. Get up, he shouted to his soldiers. God will win the battle for us. He divided his army into three groups and gave each soldier three things. A trumpet, a jar and a torch inside the jar. Not a torch like we have, but a piece of wood which was alight with fire. Gideon led one group and he told the others to watch and copy them. Gideon sent the groups in different directions to surround the enemy. Suddenly, there was a loud trumpet blast, a crashing sound as they broke the jars and lights flashed all around the enemy. Gideon's soldiers shouted, a sword for the Lord and for Gideon. The enemy soldiers were scared. They started to run away. God made them panic and they began to kill each other. The enemy army was beaten. Gideon and his men chased them out of their land. God had won the battle for his people. There's a verse that says, if God is for us, who can be against us? That's from Romans 8, verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? God gave Gideon a difficult task, but God promised to help him. Gideon trusted God and did what he said, and the battle was won. God is still the same powerful God today. He helps people who trust him. If you have trusted Jesus to save you from your sins, you can ask him to help you too. We can ask God to help us not to be afraid when we have hard things to do. We can help ask him to help us to do what pleases him. We can't do that by ourselves. We have to rely on on God. Let's praise and thanks, thank God just as Gideon did. Dear Lord and Father, we thank you that you are a great, almighty and powerful God and yet you care for us. We thank you that if we trust in you, that you will help us. Help us when we are afraid, help us when we need courage, help us when we find things difficult to do and we want to please you. Help us to know you with us every day of our lives. We ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus, our Saviour. Amen. Our last song is Be Bold, Be Strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Be, be bold, be bold, be strong. Be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. 
I am not afraid, no, 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 I am not dismayed, not me, cause I'm walking in faith and victory, come on, I'm walking in faith and victory, for the Lord your God is with you, be bold, be, bold. be, strong. be strong, for the Lord your God is with you, be bold, be, bold. be strong, be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. I am not afraid. No, no, no. I am not dismayed. Not me. For I'm walking in faith and victory. Come on, I'm walking in faith and victory. For the Lord your God is with you. Bye, Sparkles. Bye. Sparkles, I hope you've enjoyed your first week back at school. So now it's time for our activity. And today we're going to make a torch. Because if you remember our story today, there were torches in there, weren't there? Trumpets and torches. Well, three weeks ago, if you recall, we made a trumpet, didn't we? Because we were thinking about Joshua going round the walls of Jericho. So if you've made one of those already, that's great, because you could use that today without having to make another one. But we're going to just make the torch. And all you need for this is one of these tubes and some paper. So this is going to be the main stem of the torch that you're going to hold, and the paper is going to make the flames. Now, if you happen to have some tissue paper at home, that's great because that will save you doing a lot of colouring in. But I didn't have any tissue, so I've had to improvise and use some paper. So if you've got a sheet like this, an A4 sheet, and fold it in half, and then fold it in half again, you can do several flames at once. Now what I did was I got a, bit, a little bit of card, or you can use paper as well, and I drew a flame shape, which is sort of like that. Now that took me several attempts, so have a go at trying to get a flame shape and try and do it fairly sizeable, otherwise it won't look like you've got much light on your torch. I think this was roughly about nine centimetres long, something like that. So if you've done your design and you're happy with it, cut it out and then that will be your template. And then all you need to do is place it on your folded paper like this. Get your pencil. And then draw around it. The card is quite good for a template because it's fairly thick and it doesn't shift about so much. If you do it out of paper, tends to move around and then very very conveniently you can get another one here now altogether I have done 12 flames and I've drawn around my shape three times and because my paper is folded into four four times three is 12. Another maths lesson. So it just saves a bit of time. So all you need to do now is cut those out, which I've already done, and then colour them in. So I've chosen red and orange and yellow. So I've got four red, four orange and four yellow. And I've also coloured them on the other side. So it, it will take a little bit of time for you to do that, which is why if you've got tissue paper, you haven't got to do anything like that. But it's worth it. So when you've cut them, you've coloured them, all you need to do is stick them on your handle here, your stem. So this is where you need some glue. And I started with the red ones. Now you don't need masses of glue. You just really want to do have a little bit there on the end, like that and then place it 
just inside the tube like that. Doesn't have to be too far down. And then get another one. And if you try and do it so that it's opposite the other one, then by the time you've finished, there shouldn't be any gaps. Then you get another one. So when you've got those four red ones in, then you can start with the other colours. And I'm going to do orange next. And rather than sticking this right behind one of the flames, I'm going to stick it so that it's in between two. That way it will layer. And you won't have too many gaps. So you can see the colours emerge in between. Because if you look at a real flame, you can see all the different colours and they're sort of all in different directions. They're not all going at the same direction. So I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going in between again. So there you are, you see it poking out there. So there we are, it's building up a nice shape, isn't it? So then all you need to do now is the same with the yellow. I won't delay by doing it. Put it between the two oranges each time and then it will look like this at the end. Okay, having stuck all my flames down. And then just a finishing touch, you can get a crayon and colour in the the stem or you needn't bother because it's a sort of a neutral colour anyway isn't it but I just thought I'd do that and then it's done so it's not too complicated I don't think the main thing is to get your flame shape as you want it and then the rest is quite simple so do you remember in the story what happened with these torches I think they had them in their left hand, if I'm, if I'm recalling correctly. No, no, I'm not calling correctly. I think it was in the right hand. And the trumpet, I think, was in the left hand. And they'd blow their trumpets, wouldn't they? Do, 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 do. And then they'd smash the clay jar that was covering the um, torch. I haven't made a jar, you could actually. If you had a Pringles can or something, it would sit quite nicely inside, but I don't have that. So you can pretend to smash it down and then you can shout, a sword for the Lord and for Gideon, just like the Israelites did. So I hope you'll enjoy doing that. And then you can go around the house annoying your family, shouting that all the way around the house and out in the garden or wherever. So I hope, you have another good week this week and I hope to see you again next week. So for now, bye bye.